Trap once again. Carter picks it up in, against this 1-3-1 one, one in the wrong spot. That's what you got to do. Get it in the paint. And there's Carter again breaking to the bucket. He has a dozen. You can implode that zone pressure if you get it to that sweet spot below the free throw line. Or if you get it in the corners and look for cutters. But it's got to be quick. He hasn't missed a shot yet. Six for six from the field. Justin Carter. Sims takes the jumper, free throw line extended, hit the back iron. Stinnett thought about it. Well, again, Michigan in man to man, the changing of the defenses right now forced Creighton to kind of think about it a little bit, go from zone trap to man. Carter picked up there by Novak, came up short, his first miss of the game. Knocked away by Young out of bounds. And they stay with Michigan. Well, nice job by Antoine Young in getting back. Avoiding another easy transition basket from Michigan. Take a look at the hustle right there by Young. That's close. Hard to say. And Mike and Kitt says it, says it differently now. Yes. Plenty of convincing there on Dana Altman's from side. The, from the angle we had, it looked like it was almost simultaneous. But good job by the officials making an assertive call. Ashford all the way around uses the glass. Point game, Harris. This three pointer, long. By that time, Manny Harris settled. 6 5 against the 6 foot Antoine Young. Put it on the floor and take it to the basket. And Young did just that. Put it on the floor, took it to the bucket, and drew the foul on Darius Morris. His first. Sixth team foul for Michigan. And Young to the line for two. Sometimes when you're as proficient as Manny Harris is from beyond the arc, and you get out there, and even if you have a smaller player, there's always that temptation because you can elevate over him to knock down the three, but that side was cleared out. And he had an opportunity to really take Antoine Young to the basket but, and didn't, and Young sees the opportunity to go to the hole himself. Young, the sophomore, looking to fill Josh Dotzler's shoes like he did at West High School in Bellevue, Nebraska. Dotzler graduating from last year's squad. Yeah, Young with a slow start this year, injured his knee on November 10th, and it's kind of slowed him down a little bit. First two games, he didn't score. Had 10 points and two assists on the 22nd against Arkansas Little Rock. He's a guy that, that gives you solid play thus far in the season. Beginning, beginning of this game, eight assists, just three turnovers. And you saw what a hustler he is getting back defensively. Yeah, Dana Altman says maybe the quickest player we've ever had at Creighton. And he's out there trying to... Dog, Lucas Perry. Lucas Perry gets it back. And now they call Lucas Perry for the offensive foul. His second had seven along with six assists and three rebounds. Leading the scorer thus far, Justin Carter with a dozen for Creighton. Leading the way for Michigan, Zach Novak. Perfect from the floor, four of four and ten points. Remember, this is Justin Carter's first game. Hurt himself against... Uh, Nebraska Omaha a couple games earlier this year. They fed the big fella right away, Len, and Lawson comes up with two. The Nebraska Omaha game was an exhibition game. So as far as the real thing, this is the first one for Justin Carter. And he's making sure his presence has been known. Harris almost got caught up in the air. Morris for three. The freshman from California knocks down the triple. His first of the year. And on that possession, better spacing by Michigan. A little bit of passing game to get the defense moving to find the open look. And Carter had an open shot. Fought down low and tapping. For Carter, he has 14. And Crate with some pressure. Again, looking to control the tempo, but Michigan is going to attack like he should. 
Stinnett walks with it. Well, we talk about Justin Carter again, just a nice job making himself available inside, gets his tip in off the miss. And he's been the workhorse thus far. You know, a lot of Creighton fans watching this game, they don't even recognize Justin Carter. He got his hair cut the other day, Len. First time in almost five years he cut his locks. Yeah, he had long dreadlocks down to almost his shoulder blade. I guess he didn't listen to Crosby Stills asking <laughs> Young. Almost <laughs> cut my hair. Sims with the right-handed floater. And Sims with 10. And obviously, Justin Carter, no Samson cut his locks he's still playing the game the way it should be played Stinnett's three-point attempt no and Sims pulls down the miss five rebounds for Sims Harris at the other end Foul called on the floor well Deshaun Sims again you see his versatility the guy playing the pivot in Michigan, but the ability to turn and face, put it on the floor, take you off the bounce. 6'8 senior understands all the moves necessary. No back for three as two three pointers already. Missed that one. The Creighton fall was on Antoine Young as first. Ashford with the big bucket at the close of the first half. Hits another three there. Daryl Ashford, the junior college transfer, has 12. And he's playing as energetic as anybody out here on the floor, despite being given the nickname by Dana Altman as Sleepy. Nothing sleepy about this game, his game today. Harris. Finds Lucas Perry right around his defender. Down the horn. Sims for three. Uh uh. How about Senate the has Lawson? How about the Creighton defense? All the chain shots when they come down the front. Carter trailing the play with two. He has 16, and Creighton has its first lead in the game. During that last possession by Michigan, three times, Creighton able to get a hand and chain shots. The ball handle the pass. Sims back in his way. In. Lawson defending and Sims fadeaway jumper falls. And Michigan better recognize the hot hand, and that's Deshaun Sims. He's got to get some touches on every possession going forward until he proves otherwise. And he commits the foul there. 